Will Jake Paul really fight Logan Paul in a boxing match? I remember back when people were really entertaining this idea and talking about it. I thought there's just no way they're brothers. They're not going to do this. They're tight. But I've seen a few clips that might seem like they're headed in that direction. Let's check them out. You won your fight against Nate Diaz and everybody's cheering and, and Logan's sitting there. He looks like a super villain. I, like this, once again, this, does, this feels fucking weird because we go back to Puerto Rico and we see Logan every day. This, this, like, I don't know, bro, but like, did, did you see that, that picture or the, the video? Logan yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I just, I didn't think it was real. <laughs> but it's like, what? It, 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 it seems fake, but it's not. There's yeah, like a video of it too. And I just don't get it. I, don't, I just can't believe it. I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's weird. It's weird. True. It's really weird. Because even in private, like you speak so high, highly of like what you guys, like what you want you guys to do and, and your plans and like even just exciting things that you want them to be a part of. Like when you talk about like your ranch, you're like, oh, me and Logan this, me and Logan that, like everything. You involve him in every single fucking thing you can possibly. I, I, I think the reason I've created like our brotherhood and like having these friends around us because i yearned for it and Lo logan has even said it so to get my thoughts on this real quick i know what they're talking about i did see the picture that they took of jake when he got his hand raised and you know he's shushing the camera and you can see his team and everyone behind him cheering and happy and logan paul kind of just standing there you know looking all upset for some reason but you know maybe it could have been just just to play devil's advocate right in that last podcast, I know you guys asked me about this live. I didn't make a video about it, but in the the podcast that Jake did on Impulsive, well, where they went back and forth a little bit about, you know, Logan wanting to promote Prime at his event and promote the the Prime card at Jake Paul's event versus Nate Diaz. And Logan did see, come off a little bit selfish, and but maybe he was just fresh off of those emotions of being upset. That's why he was standing back there a little bit menacingly not really celebrating and you know in his eyes from what i've seen from those clips he seems like he blames jake a little bit for it so maybe he wasn't as happy as he normally is because you know that that was fresh at the time so he was probably really really upset about it but let's let's check out the other clip clearly he has envy and jealousy towards me and that's what i told him off camera and he's like no 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 but it like everyone sees it it's like clear as day and it's like, why we're on the same team. I'm not in competition with him. I want him to be a billionaire. I want him to accomplish all of his goals. It's the it's him undermining me and being condescending towards me and trying to little bro me and discrediting everything that I do. We did this together. We started our YouTube channel together. And and basically, like off camera, he was basically like, no, like I never respected you when we were kids. And yeah, that's fucking and, terrible. And like I thought you were a failure. I don't know what's going on right now. And now I'm just like lost. Hmm. So this kind of some things are kind of adding up now. Before I was saying that I could see both sides. But now hearing this, if this is true, if what Jake is saying here is true, Logan is just really, really selfish. That's all it comes down to. Because for you to say when we were younger, you were a failure or I saw you as a failure. That's kind of ridiculous and crazy to say because... From personal experience, I have an older brother who, you know, I was more of a scholar. I was a straight A student in schools, A, B student all throughout, you know, middle school, high school, college. My older brother, not so much, barely graduated. We thought we, he wasn't even going to graduate high school, barely graduated. And I still looked up to him. You know, he's older than me by three years. I still looked up to him. I did not care that he was flunking out school. I mean, yeah, when we would get into our fights, like, you know, every brother does. I would make fun of him for it and stuff, but I still looked up to him. I never looked down on him and neither ha I did I do for my younger brother. When my younger brother was struggling, not doing very well in school, you know, maybe he wasn't as athletic as I am in sports and things like that growing up. I never looked down on him. I never looked at him as a failure or anything like that. So that's very, very weird from personal experience, but I, I know that, you know, siblings, from different areas and different neighborhoods and different families they might look at each other differently than what i do and my what my family because we were so tight and so close because that's all we had was each other so i don't know maybe 
I know they grew up in like the doing Disney and stuff. So maybe they grew up in like a privileged life where, you know, they have a different outlook on things and they have a different type of bond. But I, I do. Logan is definitely in the wrong here. If what Jake is saying is right. Logan is definitely in the wrong here. Logan is definitely being very, very selfish. And and to be honest, I, I don't really like or dislike either guy. So I'm very, very unbiased when it comes to this. Jake is honestly looking like the good guy here. Jake Jake is the one taking all the sacrifices. Imagine you genuinely don't like somebody. You and your brother genuinely don't like somebody. Then your brother all of a sudden becomes best friends and a business partner with that guy. Like, yeah, I can understand like Logan and KSI being cordial with each other and not really beefing anymore because they settled that in the ring. But to become so tight and so close and to be business partners and everything. And then for Jake you know, to feel like he's on the back burner now, you know, that's very, very selfless of Jake Paul. And it's very, very selfish of Logan Paul. And, you know, I also know that Logan didn't really console Jake about this idea. He just kind of went and did it. But if you're both feuding with that person, I think Logan, you know, at the end of the day, he's an adult. He's a grown ass man. He could do whatever the hell he wants to do with his life, with his businesses and things like that. But you, out of respect, you should at least go to your brother and say, look, this is what's going on. This is what I'm going to do. I know you might have some problems with it, but trust me, it, I'm, I'm, we're going to succeed in this together. So you don't have to like him, but I'm going to go do this. This is just a heads up. That, that would be the respectful way to handle it. So Logan is coming off more like a selfish asshole, to be honest. And, you know, maybe he doesn't mean to be. Maybe he's not trying to be. But he is. The fact of the matter is that he is. I'm sure he cares about Jake. I'm sure he wants Jake to win at the end of the day. But, you know, you can clearly tell he's more focused on himself and his career rather than it's not an us thing. It's not a team thing. It's not him and a Jake Paul thing anymore. He sees himself on his own and he's going to look out for his own best interests at heart rather than them two as a whole anymore like they used to. So, I definitely think Logan Paul is a little bit in the wrong here, but hey, if this continues, can we see a Jake Paul versus Logan Paul fight? Maybe it will probably be doing huge, huge numbers, especially since they're brothers. I think a lot of people will want to tune into that fight. They could easily headline a pay-per-view easily, and it would be such a big fight just because like, I'm sure Jake Paul has a lot of like the boxing type people watching him fight now and the influencers watching the influencers fight. So they're bringing in both parties and I'm sure every person that's into influencer boxing will want to watch this fight just because it's different and because they're brothers. I don't think it's really going to happen. I think, you know, brothers had this moment where they're arguing, they don't really see eye to eye, but then eventually they come together and they, you know, squash everything. So I don't think that they're actually going to end up fighting. I don't think it's going to come to that point, but it's certainly looking like it's building up to that. All right, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'll catch you in the next video.